Alrighty then. We're gonna watch the credits of this while I give y'all a quick little update on what's going on. Obviously, it's been a while. Damn, hey, what's up, Jill? And Trish, what's up, Trish? And Arthur, yo, brother, you looking good. That cod piece is sick. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, quick little update, shit. Uh, after this, I'm gonna do a little Spencer tutorial that was requested of me, and I said, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I can definitely do that. I'll do that in a couple of days, and then it's been like a week. <laughs> Wait, actually, I think it's been longer than a week. It's been some time. I have been very busy the past couple weeks, but that's good because I'm making some money. Uh, but anyway, obviously, I haven't uploaded a video in like, um, actually, I think it's been over a month now. I think the last video I actually uploaded was like June 22nd or something when I checked. But anyway, uh, the reasoning behind that is just online Marvel killed me. Like, I was just, I was done with it. I tried to get back into it a few times over the past month. I think the last time I tried was something like two weeks ago. I actually ended up running into somebody. I don't know if they watch my videos. I know they're on my friends list. So I assume they either used to or do watch my videos. And that's how I ended up uh, friending them. Because I if I would recognize them from somewhere else. If I knew they were from somewhere else. And I played him. I played a couple other matches. And like, they, I'm just, I'm not enjoying it at all. And partially that's just because like I'm not used to online anymore. And for those of you that play offline, you know, like, there is just an enormous difference between online Marvel and offline Marvel. It's just, it's plain, if you get, if you spend a long time playing offline Marvel, and then you hop online, you're playing underwater for a while. And I just, I, you can get used to that again, but I don't want to. I just, I stopped caring. So that's why you haven't seen a video in a while, is just because I haven't been playing anything, um... Those of you that are watching, some of you are watching my record of Agares War 2 playthrough. Uh, if you're not, I don't particularly blame you. If you do want to watch something, uh, like a playthrough with me, then head on over to the Agares Nate channel. And it's going on there, but honestly, I'm not particularly, it's just, it's another game that I'm not really enjoying very much. So, I wouldn't blame you if you don't watch it. Other than that, uh, like I said, I got the Spencer tutorial. I might be doing more tutorials, uh, because, I mean... I don't have a main team anymore. Like, for a while, I was using the Nova Spencer Hawkeye thing, and then, like, I didn't play Marvel at all for a while, and I got pretty rusty with them, and now I just play characters. Like, whenever I go to offline Marvel stuff, I just pick random shit, and I play with it. That's just, that's how I play Marvel now. I don't have a main team. I'm not, like, trying to be competitive with it. I just pick characters I like, and I pretty much just stick to casuals. Um, so, due to that play style... I'm pretty diverse. I can play a lot of characters. I know how to play a lot of characters. I know the game plan, even if I can't, like, execute everything at, like, a tournament major top eight level, I still know, like, how they work, how it would work, if I could do it, if I practiced it, etc., etc. So I might start doing more character tutorials, especially because right now it seems like this game is here to stay. It doesn't look like they're going to be supporting, uh, like, a new Marvel or any kind of patches or anything, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but of course, unfortunately, Capcom is still stuck in that Japanese company mindset where, like, everything's gotta be hella secretive, everything's gotta be, like, you gotta keep everything close to your chest. That's very frustrating, because, I mean, you know, you wanna give people stuff to look forward to, you don't wanna just, like, spring something on somebody and be like, yo, enjoy this! Like, nine months, like a nine month time between fucking vanilla and ultimate that was a horrible idea and then like this whole like springing devil the devil may cry reboot on people that was a bad fucking idea i mean that's obviously not something they're keeping close to their chest their fighting game thing though is like how long has ono been fucking teasing oh i got a new surprise for you like i'm pretty sure he's been teasing that shit since evo 2011 and he still hasn't actually said anything <laughs> like that's retarded so, um, anyway, it does look like this Marvel is here to stay. Um, I do know, I did hear about, what is it, like, Marvel Superstars? I don't know what they're actually, or Marvel Origins? I don't know what they're calling it, but anyway, like, the fair, uh, is it X-Men vs. Marvel, or X-Men vs. Capcom, or something like that? I know they have, like, that little thing coming out, uh, the little, that's kind of, like, similar to, um, Third Strike Online, but for whatever games, therefore I can't remember the names of the games. Uh, but I'll probably end up getting that and trying that out, even though the gameplay on that is fucking absurd, and I don't think that will work on I honestly don't 
see any way that will work online, but we'll see. Uh, obviously, we have Persona 4 Arena coming out this very Tuesday. Uh, I've been lucky enough to get my hands on it, play it a little bit. Unfortunately, for those of you that don't know anything about the NorCal scene, there's this place called Game Center. It's an arcade that's in, that's in the San Francisco area, kind of around there. Um, it's in San Mateo, for those of you that actually know geography of California. Now, for me, that's a very long... Like, I am pretty much not the furthest away from, like, everybody, but I'd say, like, the most excluded from everybody. Like, there's scene, there's various scenes where there's multiple people around me, like, 30 minutes away, but they all have, like, multiple people in that scene. I am the only one in my location that play, that, or that at the very least, actually goes to shit. So, like, there's about 40 minutes away from me is Elk Grove, and that's a fairly decent scene. About an hour away from me is Fairfield, which is another decent scene. Uh, there's like 30 minutes away from me is like downtown Sacramento, which is again a decent scene, but still very far away. It's still, I mean, everything is pretty much 30 minutes away from me. San Mateo, however, is technically a two and a half hour drive. And that's where this game center is. Now, I say technically because I have to go through San Francisco to get there, and there is never a time when San Francisco does not have traffic. So what is a two and a half hour drive, especially because Game Center opens at 6 p.m., so that means if I want to get there by the time they open, I'm driving through rush hour, I mean, I'm driving through rush hour traffic. I am getting, like, three and a half hours driving time because of that traffic. On top of that, I have to go through toll booths, going there and coming back and I have to pay seven dollars to play in game center so essentially I'm basically when you combine gas this isn't even including like food and drink shit that I buy or like on the way down there or for driving down there and driving back etc that kind of stuff I'm basically paying the cost of a new game whenever I go down there due to the combination of gas costs toll booths and the cost to play there I'm essentially buying a new game, so I can't exactly do that every single day. I could, but I wouldn't be able to buy anything else, which obviously is not exactly a good game plan. Um, but I did go down there, I did get to play it some, I'm very hyped for it, I'm enjoying it, I really like Akihiko a lot. Uh, that's the character that, I mean, he's my favorite character from Persona 3. Actually, he's probably my favorite character in the Persona series, to be perfectly honest. I mean, maybe, eh, not my favorite character, I mean, you have... Actually, I haven't played Persona 1 and 2. But if you add, like, Shin Megami Tensei shit in there, then he's not. But out of that game, he's definitely my favorite character. However, watching gameplay of Teddy, that dude just looks like my kind of character. Like, I'll just love playing as him. So I'll probably, like, sub him. I might end up maining him. I don't know, because a shitload of people are trying to play Akihiko. And that might just get real boring real fast. But we'll see. But, like I said, I did get my hands on it. I did enjoy it quite a bit. The problem... However, is that uh, for those of you that like pay attention to gaming news or if you like check Shoryuken regularly, there is a network problem, issue, lag issue for the 360 version in Japan. Now, if there's a lag issue for Japan, that's going to be terrible here. Plain and simple, it's just going to be fucking awful. So... The first thing I did when I heard that was cry and wonder what I had done to the world to deserve this. And the second thing I did was immediately go to Gamefly and put the, uh, the PS3 version at the top of my queue. Um, so... Hopefully, I mean, I have... The games I have out now, one of them is Rogue Galaxy, which is an old PS2 uh, RPG. No way in hell am I finishing that before the weekend, before... Actually, today's Friday, so before tomorrow. However, the other one I have, I actually got Halo 3 in order to, uh, like, kind of catch up. Because I can't remember the story of Halo 3 at all. I know, like, who gives a shit about the story of Halo, right? But Halo 4 actually looks pretty damn good, like, from what I've seen of it. Halo 4 looks damn good. And so I was kind of, I just wanted to catch up, so I got Halo 3. And I can definitely, if I sit down, like, right after this, and I don't sleep. Because, I mean, I haven't slept in, like, two days anyway, but who gives a shit? Let's just keep not sleeping. And eventually, I'll just pass out for like 20 hours. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best game plan ever. 
But if I finish that by Saturday and I send it in, hopefully I'll get the PS3 version of uh, Persona as well, so that if they don't have a patch ready for the release date of the 360 version, at least I'll have the PS3 version to show off. Um, either way, there is a bunch of stuff coming up. There's a Friday tournament uh, that's actually it's Street Fighter. It's for Street Fighter Ultimate Marble. But for those of you that pay attention to the anime scene, you may know Spirit Juice. Uh, he's going to be bringing a setup of uh, Persona. Uh, the Saturday, the day after that, uh, Saturday, there will be another tournament that they're going to have Persona at. And then the day after that, I'm hoping Alex Valle, uh, and with Level Up, is going to be having... I don't know if it's strictly... Pers it is a strictly Persona thing, actually, now that I think about it. They're going to be having a Persona gathering that Sunday. Big tournament. They're trying to make it a big tournament. And the NorCal scene is trying to, you know, get people together and say, Yo, let's go to this. Let's get down there, show the support, blow this game up, you know, make it hype get people into it, etc, etc, and I'm really, really crossing my fingers and hoping I can go to that, but unfortunately, my boss picked this week to go on vacation, so I gotta wait until Monday to ask him if I can get the day off, and if I can, I'm definitely going down there and blowing it up, and hopefully I'll be able to, like, get on stream, maybe do some commentary, that'd be awesome to do commentary on Level Up, that'd be, I mean, like, that'd be sick as hell, I've never been to, so I've been to SoCal, but I've never been to SoCal for, like, fighting game shit, I've never gone there. And gotten involved in their scene so that'd be really cool to meet up some of the socal people hopefully you know some of the people i can recognize from marvel or street fighter down there that i can introduce myself to that'd be awesome that'd be hype uh personally i'm hoping for my hero the dude i steal all my characters from combo fiend is down there that'd be sick i know he plays a lot of games he used to play blaze blue um so he i'm hoping he'll be there to support persona and i'd be able to meet him that'd be that'd be pretty hype i'd like that but yeah, so that's all the game plan stuff, so I will be, I will start recording shit soon, I promise. There will not be another, you know, month in between videos and that nonsense. Uh, unless, of course, Persona is absolute ass online, which will be very disappointing. But at the very least, if that does happen, then I'll just start going to these tournaments that I go to, and I'll start bringing my camera and everything, and I'll just start recording there. Like, fuck it, I'll give you, I'll give you something, because I want, like I said, I want to hype up Persona, I want to support Persona. It's a very fun game, it's a very entertaining game, and I want it to continue. I want them to keep adding more characters. I want them to take characters from other series and throw them in there. Fuck Blaze Blue. I don't give a shit about Blaze Blue anymore. Support Persona. God damn it. Um, but anyway, so that's about that. I mean, that's pretty much everything you need in like a quick little update video. So like I said, I'll have a Spencer um, tutorial for you. If you have, if you want to see a tutorial of another character, like, if you've looked for one and there really isn't one or there isn't a quality one, by all means, tell me. But please try to make it, like, a character I've actually played before. <laughs> like, or that I've actually, like, shown off or shown interest in, etc. Don't be like, do a Virgil tutorial! And, I, like, I will, I will find a way to reach through my computer and punch the shit out of you if you request something like that. Because I, you know, I don't like the character. I've never played the character. But if it's a character I have played, you want to and you want to get some tips on them and hopefully I can do that let me know and I'll try and do a few of the, a few more of those since like I said seems like ultimate's here to stay so it's not like I'm gonna do a character tutorial and then two months later it's gonna be irrelevant like the hilarious thing is I still have people like hitting up my zero tutorials or like my Wolverine tutorial or my fucking like vanilla two weeks in Wolverine Zero Dante combo videos and like talking trash about them. like motherfucker like, how stupid are you do you see the date here what the fuck is wrong with people it's just hilarious to me like I mean you cannot hurt my feelings by trying to trash talk me over the internet you can't do it you can't hurt my feelings if you trash talk me to my face and you think I'm gonna take somebody who I've never met who's probably like 12 years old just judging by how, you know, YouTube comments generally go, and you're trying to offend me, it's not gonna work. It's just hilarious to me when people try that shit. But anyway, enough of that, enough rambling, let's go. No, not Xbox Live. Let's roll over here so I can do some tutorials. And like I said, when Persona comes out, hopefully I'll be blowing that up. Because uh, like I said, I, had, I haven't had a lot of experience with it. It's not like I'm a master with Akihiko all of a sudden. I basically only got like enough experience to learn his moves. I didn't really get much else beyond that. But 
once the game comes out, I will be grinding away. I'm very excited for it, and I want it, I want it to be successful. So I'm going to do my part, and you will be getting videos again soon, I promise. Um, so yeah, alright.